Stars have aligned, and the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history is back tonight. The former two division champion, Conor McGregor, as such, the celebs are out. Let's see what type of version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. Usually, when Conor McGregor shows up, it's usually his best right. version. He's a guy that takes a great amount of pride in preparing for the event. He says it's a fight every single time he sees his opponent, from the press conference to the weigh ins to the stare down. He is ready to show his opponent his best self every time he's in their face. And not only does he do that in the buildup, when he gets into the octagon, with all the ability that he possesses, he's able to do that same thing. That's why he's been so successful and has gone from the top, from the bottom, to the top of the UFC in such a short time. Truly one of the elite strikers in UFC history. Moves every needle you would like him to move. And as you said, his work ethic, his preparation truly is legendary. Let's see if he has put in the right work in advance of this showcase fight here tonight. Conor McGregor has stepped into the octagon. This time he wants to leave with that championship belt. So here's the UFC featherweight champion Ilya Topuria, undefeated when he arrived at the title fight against Alexander Volkanovsky, and he was able to break through and get the job done. There is an undeniable sophistication to his game. He is a layered striker. He can grapple, he can wrestle. I haven't seen anything resembling a weakness on film, but I think his greatest asset is his ability to stay calm, cool, and collected in combat and also to exercise some patience when it comes to pursuing a finish. He's one of the best finishers in the division, but it is never forced, it is never bad out of hell, and that's why right now he's the hunted and not Volkanovski at 145 pounds. Well, it is the venue in which every UFC athlete hopes to one day compete, and we are now ready to go from Madison Square Garden here in New York City. Our tale of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the notorious Connor McGregor. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending you. Champion of the world, Ilya Elmagador Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Well, they are all standing inside this arena because the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, Conor McGregor, is back. Now let's see how it goes for him. You know Connor's going to be fighting elite competition, so how does it go after more than 600 days outside the office? Lands a big right hand early. So perhaps a sign of things to come. The kickboxer successfully defends the first attempt there on the takedown by the BJJ fight. I mean, what a great job recognizing the challenge in front of you, knowing that you're gonna have to shield, knowing that you're gonna have to defend multiple takedowns. He defended the first one, but that's not gonna be the last one. So, admire your work a little bit, but know that you still got work to do. You gotta be careful here. 
Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Changing the position. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Another strike gets through from the top position. Oh, McGregor's able to transition back to side control now. The ground strikes continue to pile up. McGregor's right back to the full mount. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Very active off of his back. Lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. Topodia getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. Oh, right into Mount. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, postures up and delivers a big ground and pound strike to the head. Nicely done there by McGregor. Look at that. Recognizes he's about to lose position. My right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the feet. They may be tired, but that tired, their fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grapple exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. McGregor gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Topodia's in half guard now. A lot of top pressure being applied here. He's in the mount. Oh, he got to the spot. Oh, big elbow. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Topodia. Oh, big elbow. Topodia's got his back yet again. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have fallen away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. The ref will help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of this position. Topuri is back in half goal. Ground and pound strike there now. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Topuri is back in full mount. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Ilya Topuria. Really good job with the ground and pound. And now you can see some visible swelling on his opponent. Going to try to take his opponents back here, and he does. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Reach the end of round one. Fight does go down there. I want you on top. So look for these scrambles. Look for your seeds. Look for your reverses. All right, well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous round. Face punching at its best. Ha. He loaded it up. He threw it straight. He threw it long. And over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, round two. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, 
not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase it down. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Just misses with the right. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that chip. Lands another strike upstairs. For his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the swelling. He can't miss, Jay. And when you saw the swelling initially, you knew that he needed to change something. He still has not changed that. And while it's getting worse, it's still not at a point where we should panic. But a few more, and he's going to find himself in a dire situation. His uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. All right, so he lands again just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game team. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. We started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. McGregor's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Torpudo. He's sticking him over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Topuria gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can route. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. All right, we told you we'd keep an eye on it, DC. That cut is starting to open up wider now. Continues to target that area well. But well, when you saw it right away, it wasn't that bad. But as he continues to target it, you can start to see it opening up. Look for him to continue to go down that route to try to get his victory. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And, man. Oh, he is hurting for certain. Got him again. Gets back to his feet. Oh, another ground strike gets through. Oh, nice right hand. a big elbow there. Oh, huge knee! Oh, nice level change. Mm, that was nice. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered tonight. Nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both of these men have been hurt. Both of these men are swollen. They're bloody. They're both, even though them, they're both willing and ready to continue this fight. Toporti is in half guard. <laughs> oh, massive oh, kick! Everything stay, behind. Stay, stay. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, well, if you like blood, and I do, this is the fight for you. Somehow we've made it to the stools, and both fighters are wearing it. Yeah, I mean, the corner's going to have some work to do on that cut. 
he has been beat up in that round, but he has done his fair share of damage himself. This has been a very close fight. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. You have to be smart with your exchanges. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. The fighter's on point tonight, lands a beautiful kick. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. McGregor's cut, not getting blood in his eyes, per se, but that is a huge gash on the cheek. Kind of looks like a slot machine right now. And if we get in between rounds, the ringside physician and the cut man are going to have their work cut out for them. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Fighters separate from the clinch. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Now goes to the uppercut. With conviction to the body. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. All right, so the cut really started. Another hurt. He's hurt bad. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go get it. You got to go find the finish. You cannot go off the hook like that. Oh, huge right hand! These guys are leaking all over each other. Just over three minutes to go in round three. In the half guard. Nice shot there by the champ. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Hit the ball here. Now he's got good body position. Yup. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. He's going after that cut over and over again, and every time he lands, the cut gets worse. Oh, another heavy shot gets through. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. And very effective with the ground and pound. Look at him. Oh, he stops anyway. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. Make the bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight. And the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. All right, we now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 41 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, the notorious Conor McGregor. So what a moment for the biggest superstar this sport has ever seen. Conor McGregor, your winner by TKO. Beautiful performance by McGregor. He did everything he wanted to do inside the octagon tonight. And when Conor McGregor finds his flow, he's hell on wheels. Tonight, he once again proves why he's one of the best welterweights in the UFC.